Hello everybody and welcome to part 24 of my Desert China series. We are going to be changing directions slightly. Um, it was originally when I set out to conquer the Inca, it was originally my uh, intention to take out Cusco and Machu. Um, it's his desert tiles, uh, it was the source of his faith. Um, however, if you take a look, we had just converted Cusco after we took it. Look at that. Uh, not only have we lost a follower, but his pressure on the city is enormous. And the reason for that is because he has um, itinerant preachers. So religion spreads to cities 30% further away. In other words, 13 tiles away instead of 10. And in the late game, it's been city, 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 city and yeah so and I did want to take a moment to just point out that there was a point in time where we totally could have gone into acoustics which would have gotten us into the Renaissance which would have gotten us rationalism a whole policy sooner we would have lost Alhambra and maybe Notre Dame but we would have had military during our Chukanu window we could have come over here um, Cusco was flat, Machu's flat, like these have been relatively easy targets. We could have stifled this before it spread because if you'll recall in the earlier game we were doing an amazing job like spreading our religion everywhere. This would have been a way and quite frankly we were able to identify this very early on. So yeah totally if I could go back that is what I would do differently. Um, and now, I guess what I should get to is uh, how I planned on changing directions here. Um, this is Gift, so he's not a double tapper. Uh, basically, what my intention is, is while we're here, um, our, take our forces south. We'll take Olan, burn it to the ground, and then we'll come up and take Tiwan and burn it to the ground. we got to do what we can to reduce the religious pressure flying throughout this area. And both of these cities are not only... Um, pretty important pieces of his empire, but they're also very easy, easily assailable. So we should be able to take them out in no no problem. Uh, for this reason, yeah, I definitely want to start having this uh, great general head this way. Uh, let's see, that Iroquois worker's in the way, but let's stay on the road anyways. So, yeah, it's going to take even longer to get to Brazil. And that's actually what's going to make this maneuver dangerous because the fact that we're going to be taking more cities is going to get Brazil that much more steamed at us and that much more likely that he'll start coming after us before we're prepared like that. So um, I think it's kind of important that we uh, get our uh, knights upgraded. Um, and healed. So yeah, this will help take it away, but I mean, even now, it's still at 102 pro well, maybe this doesn't update. Okay, now it's 96, and this is receiving 78. Um, killing these cities will not only reduce that pressure, but it'll also uh, make sure Incas can't come back to punish us later, and it'll make this... Uh, Profit going around trying to, you know, maybe we go convert Canada Lake and Ragusa. Uh, we got to do something. Um, this religion thing is out of hand. Um, the the upside to our overall plan, though, is as we take over more and more wonders, our faith gain is going to be such that the fact that we're paying for these uh, profits, I don't think, would be that big of a deal. Okay, I'm not seeing any pink tiles. Um, uh, no, Shanghai has an unassigned citizen. Okay, so I'm guessing it means that Shanghai grew, because if we look at two grow, five and six, yeah. Okay, it's more likely that this is the case. But that's fine, because it's working full production. that will get the research lab out in one turn. We'll just slot him in there. Caesar has declared war against Montezuma. So it is nice that the whole world's going to war, and with regards to the China versus Inca, people seem to be siding with us. So that is really good. Okay, iron, 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 iron. Okay, all iron. 
and I'm not seeing any iron over here so nobody actually wants to buy it even though we've got some back now um, okay so these are foreign legion dudes uh, he can just kinda hold the fort over here um, he'll get shot we'll back up um, no 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 okay well we'll figure that out anyways um, this is gift so we don't need him for seizing down here uh, it would seem that we've mostly eliminated his military because we've done a good job of like chasing after every single unit we could get our hands on um, yeah so we'll keep uh, that flowing as best as we can here's one obviously that's kinda getting away but what can you do so let's try to back this guy up into oh we can actually make it into the city tile and upgrade same turn very good um, if we heal him up here he just gets hit by the pikemen who are anti mounted so where can you go that you can upgrade uh, right up against the city tile keeping them on the roads gives us options so that's pretty nice um, same thing with this guy where do you end up uh, you can end up all the way over there is that what I would want to do what would I do with him um, he might be somebody that helps chase down this guy so let's keep him somewhat near somewhat near he's not seen here he can get on the road quickly or he can heal in place that seems like an okay spot uh, does he have movement? Yes, he does. So let's just wait him. Um, over here, in case this unit comes out, which I don't think it would, maybe we keep Gift over here somewhere. Or maybe we send Gift over here to back these guys up in case Brazil does get froggy. Um, that single shot per turn, I can't imagine being all that useful. But... Um, we'll just bring him down here because these this road tiles are about to be finishing up. Okay, that puts him on the road. That puts him on the road so we can actually start heading down to Olan. Um, in fact, there's roads here that will get us right into it. Uh, this is going to be more of a pinch point, but as long as we got the melee soaking up the hits, I don't see it being a problem too much. So, yep. That's about the size of it. It's really unfortunate, because um, even with taking these cities down, the amount of time it's going to take us to do it, it's not really going to be all that useful as far as slowing the religious spread. So I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but um, let's just totally gut the Inca, and uh, hopefully that slows them down enough that we can... There's a basic point. Uh, metallurgy stolen... Um, okay, so we have a uh, missionary here. So let's bring this guy over here, try and intercept it. In the meantime, we can just bombard it, kill it, depending on where it goes. Casimir has declared war on Montezuma. <clears throat> Rome and the Iroquois now friends, Venice and the Iroquois now friends. That's very unfortunate because they backed us in the war against the Inca. Uh, but we don't actually plan on going to the war with uh, the Iroquois too soon anyways. All right, on to Atomic Theory. Uh, Forge is done here. This is the turn that our coal comes online. So let's... Da -da -da -da. There's that. So let's buy a factory in the capital, because the capital is very busy. Building Neuschwanstein, which will do wonders for our happiness and our culture. Our happiness obviously doesn't need it, but, you know. We are about to take on cities long enough to burn them to the ground. So, you know. There's that. All right, and let's also build a factory here, and then a factory here. But let's slot that guy into the research lab. Let's, let's not forget that. And factory. Oh, speaking of which, we just bought a factory here, and I didn't look at the slots. We want to try to work them slots. Um, it's food, extra production, science, and reduced happiness. Unhappiness, reduced unhappiness. I said that wrong. So we're looking at four and three. What if we just pull eight food off land? Still says four and three. Still says four and three. Can't argue with that. All right, now um, 
I don't want to queue a factory here, and the reason for that is because when the research lab finishes, it'll just go into it, and without a prompt, I might forget to fill the specialist slot. So that'll be in two turns. So we can sell all but one of our coal. Actually, you know what? Let's go take a look at... Whoa, that's not a farm. Let's mine in two turns. Okay, and we, being the player, take... Uh, in this case turn 204 we're first we're the first seat so uh, this will be this will say one next turn and then when this is finished we'll just have it and of course if we don't we do have money to buy them back say somebody overpowers them or once a factory gets built we get that coal back so I think we can sell off all of the coal and just count on the Bogota coal to, uh, for Guangzhou's factory um, willing to bet. Well, in this case, I'm betting a coal. Okay. Probably shouldn't have just taken all of his money like that, but... He's one person right now I can uh, definitely see we would not be... Okay, so... He's taking off. We got a worker here and a worker here. And our troops want to kind of head south. So let's see. This guy should slam into him. And then this guy can slam into him, right? Because the road, sure enough. That is gorgeous. Okay. And this tile is developed. So if we do bring... These are now the stronger units before the Lancer was. So... Let's leave the one in the city tile to heal up. It'll only take two turns. I'll be fully healed. We can just take that guy out right. Okay. Hmm... You know, we might not need to use all of our units over here. We could probably have, like, so, some start heading this way, actually. So, yeah, let's leave these guys as is there. Um, so we need to capture this worker. I might as well do it with one of the Gatling guns, because they're going to take a little bit of time to get all in position anyways. Because um, let's face it, this helmet head is damaged, so the moment he moves into range, he's going to be the preferred bombard target. He can move there, he'll get bombarded again, pillage, armor up, whatever it takes. So yeah, let's just get these guys. He's on the road. Um, it's actually okay for him to be in bombard range like this, because they're going to want the cavalry. Well, maybe not, because the cavalry is actually stronger than the Gatling gun, right? Slightly. Okay. That might have been a mistake. Um, and then this Gatling gun. He'll uh, get there when he gets there. Yeah, we can have this Gatling gun move here. That way this one along the road ends up here. Uh, this Gatling gun comes here. Can start shooting here. While Helmet Head comes in here, here. And then we can send another Helmet Head this way to... Uh, just in case. I don't know. We might not need another one. Uh, we're going to have these guys hang out. This worker can start tearing up the roads. This worker can start um, this, repairing the horses. So this worker is actually free to maybe start tearing up the roads up here. So what I'll do is I'll move this guy in and pillage. He's going to get bombarded again, but now when he backs up, we'll do that. These guys can actually chunk out the city pretty well on their own, quite frankly. Well, we can at least get them up here. Yeah, let's have one come up there, because he does have another city here. And then they'll all just back up as needed. Okay, so as far as ripping the road up, um, I was thinking because of this tile being a forest, this nub would actually be worth preserving. So rather than cutting through here like was my original intention, I think I'll have him come back. And obviously if I had thought that through that way, um, once he was done with the copper, repairing the copper here, I would have just had him build one there and go there. But, you know, 
Okay, so there's that. So now he can get on and start heading over here. Because, like I said, we are going to start upsetting uh, Brazil when we start taking more cities in general. Um, let's see here. Yeah, because we can come up here and then just tap into the roads. All right. Makes sense to me. Okay, so he can actually back off if I so desired. But I don't. We want him to get shot at. Um, yeah. He's got to be able to get shot at. So... We can't make it into the marsh. Okay, we'll just sit tight there. Now, as for this guy, what do we do with this guy? Because we're not going to convert this. <laughs> Maybe it is worth converting the city. I know we're just going to burn it right to the ground, but in the meantime, it's influencing, you know, 13 tiles away in every direction. Same with T1. Hmm. Yeah, from here... Because we could have Helmet Head just stay in place. Hmm. Alternatively, we could just go convert Canada Lake. Ragusa, maybe Zurich. Because if we get the influence, you know, in towards this area, that would be beneficial as well. Yeah, maybe that's what we do. Let's go convert Canada Lake. It's going to upset Hiawatha, but um, that might actually work to our advantage in the long run. We don't want to upset him to the point of making him attack us, but um, we did the thing once before, and he's almost forgetting about it. So doing it one more shouldn't lead to the 780 that we had with pa Pechacuti, I'm guessing. So please don't shoot my Gatling gun. He didn't. Nice. Nice. Excellent. And I thought I saw two icons here, so we'll, we'll be looking at that real soon real soon. Okay, lots going on here. Wow, lots and lots and lots going on here. Uh, unit promotion. Don't want to skip that. Uh, Guangzhou may shoot. Attrition. And we shoot. Okay, so he's trying to come through here. Oh, and look at that. The Iroquois roads are actually helping us out. Very nice. This guy will come and start doing the rail from Guangzhou. Ragusa is in awe of you. Uh, they are now our allies. That is a very well-positioned ally, considering we're heading towards Brazil next. We'll s let's do what we can to keep that. Great person born. Okay. So we had... What, where's the one great general? He's over here. He's going to be tapping into the, the roads over here. Hey, look at that. A missionary. Okay. So what we will do is we'll come here pillage since he's the one that got shot this guy can come up on the iron pillaging that will be beneficial to us and we'll have this guy come here okay so one of these is going to end up being a patsy and that's fine we have the uh city zone of control so that missionary can't go anywhere which means by the time we conquer t1 we just inherit it that seems good um so we'll do this here there we go Cool. Alright. So this great general can actually start heading down here like we were going to do with the one. Morocco and the Iroquois now friends. The Inca and Brazil now friends. Okay. So at a time, Ragusa has declared war. Hiawatha has declared war. Wow. Everybody's declaring war on them just because we did. So they are at war with China, Poland, Iroquois, Rome, Morocco. That's five sieves. That's half half the world. So at a time when half the world said we're going to back China, Brazil said, no, we're with the Inqua. This is working out kind of well as far as that goes. Okay, so this guy can get into position here. He's a double tapper. This guy can get into position there. Wait, why not? One, two, three. Oh. Damn. Because this guy's going to want to go here. Yes. Okay. So he's going to want to stop and shoot. Which means this guy is not going to be able to get into the game. Okay. 
Yeah, because it's in, not in our border, so we we don't. Yeah. Well, shucks. Hey, look at this. This guy's coming back for more. We could slap him around probably. Um. Eh. We want him to go. He can make it back into the city tile. Which city tile? This one. Maybe we could just let that missionary go and let this guy chase him down. Or let's have Cusco, or yeah, him. We'll have him come over as far over here as we can get. He can reserve a spot in Ragusa's border so that our prophet has a place to actually get in. Um, that makes sense to me. All right, so we'll have this worker come, start pulling up roads. Oh, you know what? I should have left that there. If I'm going to be fighting T1, I should have left that there. Yep. He could have started converting some of this road to rail, the, the ones that's actually going to be kept. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess he's got time to put it right back down, so at least there's that. Okay, and we'll repair there. So now we just need to figure out who's going to slap this guy down. Um, let's make it this one. Yep. Okay, so he can hop onto the road, heal up, and head to T1. Because once the city has fallen, that's where everybody's going to be going. Alright, so we can actually fit him into the Cusco city tile. That seems to work out as far as keeping our uh, mounted somewhat varied. Right. So here we're going to finish the rail. And this will put two city connections online at the same time. I mean, as well as Olan, as we're burning that down. So, Helmet Head comes here. He's damaged. Hopefully, that means he's the one that gets shot. Um, that's the way it's been working, so I don't see any reason not to uh, continue. And then he can come down here. This Helmet Head can replace him. Our other Gatling guns get into position. Alright. Seems to work out. Okay. So, where do we want to go with this guy? Um, I was noticing this hill here, so maybe let's take two units over there to try and help this uh, prophet get into Ragusa. That seems to make sense to me. <clears throat> Alright, please don't shoot my Gatling guns. Please don't shoot my Gatling guns. I don't even know how much it would matter, though, because they'd probably go down relatively slow. Alright. So, let's say goodnight to Olan. Because we're going to start doing all that. And since we're going to have dyes temporarily, we can sell it off to a friend. So when this worker is done here, we'll have him come over and repair the dyes. So as we're burning the city down, we can get dyes, get a lump sum, walk away with the extra cash. Yep. Oh, yeah, this city's going to go down next turn, in fact. And with these roads here, we'll be able to get everybody back up. So, yeah, get this road back down right now. Uh, toss two. Okay, let's just actually make it road because the maintenance is lower. Hey, he decided to step out. Okay, that is foolish, but all right. Okay, so this city is marked for termination. Guangzhou grows research lab, and look at that—we do have three coal. So it looks like Bogota came through just as anticipated. Very cool. Bombard, bombard. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's just dead now. Cool. That means this guy gets back to his post. He's going to start putting up rail to Guangzhou. City becomes religious. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Wow. Oh, goodness. Well, I think we need to... Uh, how's the Iroquois doing after that? Okay, they're a little more upset. Um, it's gonna fall down naturally though. We gotta, we gotta get on this quick. Oh, look at that. We actually get into there. Can he get onto here? He can. We've reserved our path into the Ragusa conversion. Nice. Copper gems, iron. Okay, so coal from Bogota. Good deal. Um, horses. We just restored, so we have horses now. Let's see who we can sell those to. 
And I do not want to forget about the copper gems thing. Um, I'm guessing we did that to satisfy some We Love the King Day thing. So I don't think we're going to need to do that again. Um, because conquering Inca, we've just taken on a whole lot of copper. Yeah, it's all excess. So let's just lump some over here. And we are in a position of having a lot of money. So let's just take a look at things. Brazil has no other city-state near them. Um, and that just leaves the Iroquois. Uh, and we're not going near them anytime soon. What's going on here? Are you at war with somebody with the Aztecs? Okay. Well, luckily other people started declaring war on the Aztecs. So, for what it's worth. Alright, so we're actually doing pretty well throughout all of this. Um, okay. There are culture city-states we could just buy. Uh, this one has cotton. This one has whales. Um... We don't have either. I thought we already had whales. <sighs> okay. Well, I kind of like keeping the gold as an emergency fund, but uh, we're we're hemorrhaging money, and that's okay. So. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? Look at this. We actually have a city state that wants cotton. Okay. I'm glad I saw that. Oh, two, two. And this one says gifts are temporarily more effective. So we might be able to get ally status with them, which gets us the whales. Far out. So, yeah, which one had the cotton? You. You are not hostile, but you are irrational. What does that mean? More random with requests it makes. Okay. The degradation shouldn't be um, all that problematic then. Okay, let's give them a thousand gold. Monaco, where are you? You're on that island, right? Yep. Okay. Up our culture gain. There we go. Hey, and right as our scout is getting over yonder. Okay, so that mean, that uh, helps us in the scouting game a little bit. Uh, Monaco has declared war on. Oh, right, because we just yeah. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking Morocco, and then I was like, wait, I thought they already did, and indeed, that is how it happened. Okay. Uh, you're tearing up road, and then I guess he converts our good roads to rail. Is that worthwhile for puppets? I don't know. I don't know. So we'll just uh, move him onto the road, heal him up a turn. You're going to heal. Worker, keeping that rail running. All right, cross the river. There you go. Uh, same with the great general now that we have blockers and such. One, two, three, four. We're going to kind of look for food and such. All right. So, uh, whoops, I clicked in the wrong place altogether. That's what we wanted to see. Yeah, that should be ours next turn. We'll just pillage this tile, come in, and burn the city to the ground. Uh, yep. Hey, look at that. I think he uh, actually bombarded a Polish scout. I think that's what I saw. Uh, let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lots of stuff going on. Okay, unit promotion. Hey, wow, that is beautiful. I don't know that I've ever finished Neuschwanstein, and if it is, if I did, I never took a, a chance a, or a, time, a moment to look at the artwork. That is really nice. Very uh, Bob Ross-like, the forestation, anyways. I don't think he ever did, like, uh, people, but cool. Very good. All right. <sighs> yes. So, unit promotion. Um, let's see here. Cotton. Okay, there's just a lot going on here. Valletta has declared war on Poland. Pedro has declared war on Casimir. Okay. Um, for that, I think we should denounce him. Uh, we can revisit that. Uh, we can come back to that. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. Valletta and Brazil now allies. That's a problem for us. Although, didn't we just... Because it says temporary... Yeah, 40. And what would we need? 27. So gold gifts are temporarily more... We could buy that right back. In fact, that was the plan when we did the gift. 
Yeah, Khan connected for Valletta. Uh, new unit from Sidon. Cool. That is cool when you consider that they're not our ally. They actually have a different ally. Melbourne calls for faith. I think we got that under wraps. You have the 92 per turn. Very nice. Melbourne calls for faith. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Ragusa, no longer ally of Ragusa. Why would that be? Just natural fall off. Hmm. Okay, that's not a problem. I don't think. Um, Khan connected for Bogota, so Bogota is going to remain in our pocket for quite some time, and that's nice because if you look, they're situated between three sieves. So if we're literally going to dominate the whole world. Um, okay, so Valletta currently gifts are better. Twenty-seven give a gift. Um, wow. I see what you mean. I kind of don't want to go the full thousand because they are militaristic. Oh, and they're friendly. The degrade is slow. Yeah, let's try and keep some of our money for ourselves, but we can do this at least. There we go. That'll get uh, them off of uh, Poland's back too. Although, I guess that wouldn't have been too big of an issue. So unit promotion. This is our new unit. So we'll name him Gift as well. Um, this time it's only to draw attention to the fact that he's not a uh, foreign legion. Um, I think with this one, this seems like an adequate defense given our relations up there. So I think I'm going to have this guy come down here and act as a blocker over here. I don't see Brazil making use of that, but this river is going to make our approach uh, two-pronged which is nice because with three cities like this we kinda have to choose a secondary front and Sao Paulo makes more sense anyways because it's the more established city it's on the border with other targets we might have later so yeah we will have units coming in through here a little getting ahead of ourselves but nevertheless okay Beijing is ready for a new construction project uh, Neuschwanstein is up um, we could start spamming artillery that makes a lot of sense um, kind of want the forge up if we're going to be doing that. 15% of all these hammers is going to be pretty huge. Well, it's going to be another almost 30 hammers, probably 12, 13 hammers. Wow. Okay. So forge first and then spam Arties until it's Manhattan Project? Or buy the forge and spam Arties? This is going to cost 120. That means we'll bank 50 hammers. Um, these are 250 hammers per turn. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's come back to that because this is going to be the turn that we take Olan, I think. So let's just address that and then we'll call it here since we're at the half hour mark. Boom, boom, boom. Um, if I could go back and do this differently, what I would have done is make him the single shot. That way, after this is captured, we could begin retreating. Um, this way, it's not going to be as efficient. Uh, we'll come over here, do the dies, like I said. Um, and we will go ahead and pillage and capture. Raise this city. Raise it to the ground. And look at all these buildings they have. Whew. Um, let's check. We're not going to have time to sell them all. Or maybe we do. Maybe we keep it. We got the happiness. Maybe we keep it till we can reap all the gold. Let's see, 40 and 2, 30 and 2, 25 and 1, 15 and 1, 10 and I think 1, 25 and 2. So university first, yep. Okay. And we'll have to remember to keep coming back to that. Anyways, this is the half hour mark and we just took the city, so I'm going to call it here. Let me know what you guys think about this change of direction. Um, do you think it's too little too late? Is it a smart move? Is it something you would have done regardless of the religious just to further neutralize Inca before turning our attention to the rest of the world? Because if you look at the geography, it basically is the Inca and Venice to the west. Um, so, I mean, we could patch things up with the Inca after we take T1 and then, you know, go do our stuff in the east and then come back through the city into Venice. I don't know. Um... I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Anyways, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.